I'm back with another video. Today we got Bully 2, everything you need to know, all leaks and info. Guy, whoever you are making this video, you bet not be lying. If you lying, I will be doxing you and quick scoping you up close. Bully is one of my favorite games of all time. It's top two. And I don't even know if I can necessarily give one the number one spot. And the other one is GTA San Andreas. And after that will be like Max Payne. And after that will be like Godfather. All Rockstar games, ironically. Yeah. It's on both screens. Without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Yeah, I beat Bully probably over 50 times. GTA 6. But several console generations have passed since the release of Bully. And I believe that the world still deserves a sequel. Yeah, the development of Bully 2 originally... They need to make a part two, just upgrade the graphics and make it where you can do more. And I need to be the main character. Why the main character always got to be ugly? I only could get give Jimmy Hopkins so much swag. I only could do so much with him. Let me be the main character. Uh, let me be one of the, at least have like three different characters and you can pick between it. You can pick a girl character if you want one. Go ahead and get a um, LGBTQ one because you know how everything is nowadays. Get them one and, and make me the, let me, yeah, let me. Let me get a character, man. I'm telling you, I'll do it free of charge. You ain't even gotta pay me, I'll do it. Originally began right after the remaster of the first game, subtitled Scholarship Edition was completed. Rockstar Games had a studio called Mad Doc Software work on the remaster. And since they did a satisfactory job, they acquired the studio and renamed it to Rockstar New England. Around 50 to 70 people were working on the- I got it on my phone. Can you see it right, right there? I gotta download it again. Got no space on this phone for real. But yeah, I beat this game so many times. I had it on a Wii. I got me even a shirt press thing. I want to start making the actual shirts, not the sale, because I know it's probably trademarked and copyrighted and all that. But I want to, you know, the shirts with the emblem on it. I wanted to start doing it. Uh, even putting some on some jeans to try out different things. I want to bring things that's precious and dear to me and nostalgic to me from my childhood and materialize it bring it about and actually wear it i still attend on doing it. i just don't know how to work this machine but yeah like that that game had a big impact on my life it's so crazy that i make music too i want somebody to sample that like it's a few different beats in unbully like i want them to sample it and just make a nice ass beat that and try looking at bully type beats the ones that's out there is not good but yeah, this game had a big impact on my life for the positive, though. But it's about the person that's perceiving. I just see things totally different. I can grab the smallest increment and make a whole canvas with it. So it's like some people may be like, yo, it's just a video game. And to you, everyone lens is different. How they see things, how they perceive things and what's inspiring and impactful to them. But let's continue the game and it was helmed by the newly bought studio the team wanted to expand upon everything featured in the first game and in doing so it would have become a mainstay franchise alongside the likes of grand theft auto in a way it would have spawned a new bully universe of characters in video games if the second game was a success an interesting thing to note here is that the team was not working primarily on bully 2 they were constantly relocated to other projects that were being developed at the time such as gta 4's dlc expansions max Payne 3 and the first red dead redemption to make matters worse there was an extreme crunch my favorite max pains is the one and two i got one of them downloaded on the p5 whichever one it is i beat that one too not that long ago again but um the three i ain't even get to play it just looking at it visually i ain't got no problem with it but i already know it's not going to give me the same feel enough but i heard they must be remastering two right i think that's the one i have on playstation 5 but yeah, bro. So, somebody get in contact with them people. Let me be a main character. Let me be one of the characters someone can switch if they don't want to play with an ugly ass Hopkins or something like. <laughs> Let's continue. Crunch on those projects which led to 12 to 16 hour workdays, and those who tried to go home or didn't want to work on weekends were discouraged by the higher management. The developers who were reassigned to other projects were initially told that the move was temporary. However, in most cases, they did not return to working on Bully 2. When these employees requested to be placed back on the game development team, their appeals were often ignored by higher management. Eventually, the development of Bully 2 hit a pause, and other games were prioritized, and the project was considered cancelled by either late 2009 or some 
somewhere around 2010. Sometime in 2009, Rockstar New England also had a layoff period that affected around 10% of the studio, which included the entire QA department and many art designers of the studio. Surprisingly, the development was resumed after the release of Red Dead Redemption, and it was still being worked on by the New England studio. This time around, Rockstar's iconic Rage engine was being used, and Stephen Olds and Drew Medina were working on the game as artists. The team that was working on the project was extremely excited, and was even putting in extra hours willingly to speed up development, which led to- Who else was going to the girls' dorm? I learned all the things. I know how to grab the, pr the prefects. I know how to grab them. I know how to give them a swirly. I know how to put them in a locker. I know how to beat them, the, the female prefects up that try to grab. I know how to do it all. Anything, I know how to do it all, everything in the game. I know how to do the perfect railing trick on the rail with the skateboard. You got to do it away and you will glide off of it perfectly. I know how to do everything in that game. And this wouldn't be possible if it wasn't for the formal team that made Bully. So shout out to y'all. Y'all made like a, a, um, a, a positive imprint on our lives and our childhood. The ones that got to play it and experience it. Without the developers, even the one that got that music, that, uh, 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 uh. if it wasn't for them and a vision and putting it together and making this package cohesively as a, and presenting it, shit would be totally different. You would be surprised. One thing from a video game that you can take and bring into real life with your creativity, you could be a drawer, you can be a rapper or whatever, and telling you like, at least me, I can find the smallest thing or whatever, and I can take it and make it a real thing, like a something. And you will never even notice until I tell you, possibly. But shout out to the team, because that wouldn't be possible if we never, if if they never exist. But they can't do, they can't put projects in. They, if, the, number one was so much of a, it's like it's underground in a way, but at the same time for the ones that no super classic, like, you gonna have to, you're gonna have to prioritize that you can't be working on multiple games and you want that to be the best and have the best outcome but if you do it right it's definitely going to be a hit and nowadays it's a total different paradigm it will be smart to implement what an online mode i don't know how would you do that though when people got their own characters in school and all across like how you do gta 5 online um but i'm pretty sure they can figure that out that'd be crazy that'd be insane for the gaming culture it's been dry for a while that's crazy. My favorite games of all time is all Rockstar. Unless you want to go back to like Nintendo 64 and I used to play it on Mercy Heavy and I still got that game. James Bond, Golden Knight. Yeah, James Bond some of my favorite games of all time too. Let's continue. Some people staying up to midnight at the office. They wanted to prove themselves to Rockstar and show them that they were competent enough to make their next big game. As time went on, the game was eventually considered cancelled again in 2013, due to a lack of momentum, as Rockstar had again shifted their focus on a different game, which was Grand Theft Auto V this time around. The momentum was broken by this point due to all the issues that the studio was put through by Rockstar, and the original story was likely scrapped, and the team didn't know where to take the next one. Regardless of this, the game has a playable build that lasts. Who is y'all favorite fighter and bully? My favorite fighter that's closer to my style IRL is... I like bruh too. The rich kid that he goes straight to your body, but I like Darby. Darby going crazy. Yeah, Darby be going I was mad as fuck. I'm stuck with these stiff ass Jimmy Hopkin moves. And then you got somebody scoring up like I was mad. Like, bro, you need to implement that. We need to be able to create our own character. Like what well, he got his his own where well, you can just switch between the fighting styles and everything. Like it was different. That was different growing up, bruh. <laughs> Let's continue. Lasts up to 8 to 10 hours, and it showcased much of what the developers wanted to do with this ambitious sequel. That build was never shown by Rockstar, and they don't respond to anyone trying to talk to them about it either. And sadly, it never leaked as well. The only leaks that we do have are some concept art from the 2008 development cycle of the game, which vaguely shows a few possible characters or NPCs in some environments. As of 2023, the game hasn't been in development again since the last time it was cancelled, and if Rockstar is secretly brewing anything, then it's kept tightly under wraps and no one other than the company itself knows anything about it. 
The last time Rockstar officially said anything about the game was in 2013, when Dan Hauser said that they had many ideas for the sequel to Bully. All of this is a huge shame because Dan Hauser seemed to really want to make the game, and Sean Lee, the composer of the first game, said he'd be working on the game's soundtrack soon back in 2009. And now that Dan Hauser has left the company, it reduces the chances of having that same vision for the game come back, even if it's developed again in the future. Even though only an early build of the game exists, and the fact that Rockstar never let the team properly allocate time to the development of Bully 2, there is a surprisingly high amount of detail available in relation to the gameplay of this ambitious sequel. A major feature of Bully 2 was planned to be realistic behavior in the NPCs of the game, both in the main cast and random civilians. The developers wanted to push how the world interacts with the player and expand upon the system of RDR 1, where honor changes slight interactions, but unlike RDR where the honor system didn't really change anything substantial the team y'all yeah, remember damon he like us us and he hit you with the <laughs> he was going crazy i rock with damon too i had to kick damon ass too many times though even when we got cool i still was kicking his ass just for trying to bully you when i first got to the school and that was my girl right here you know how you get the she <laughs> Yeah, the team behind Bully 2 wanted it to be more immersive. One way to achieve this that the team eyed was the use of AI to make NPC reactions more realistic. And they wanted the NPCs to have better memory too, in the sense that they would remember what the player did at a certain point. For example, you could be best friends with a chef of a mansion if you wanted to, or you could intimidate him and make him hate you. How you treat other characters would then translate into how they treat you back every time you meet them. The open world of the like game it. wasn't meant to be as large as RDR 2 or G. GTA 5, so your relationship with the limited number of characters available would have felt more personal and changeable. Almost every single interior in the game was meant to be accessible. Some of them would be normal to enter, and others would need to be broken into, as the player does not have legal access to them. Breaking in would then let the player play pranks on people, and possibly steal their things. The game was going to include a progressive grass-growing system in which it would grow realistically, and the player could then mow the lawn. Then of course it would grow back again after some time. Jimmy Hopkins would have been able to climb trees, fences, ledges, and jump around on rooftops, and he would have been able to break windows to sneak away too. The primary thought behind these actions was to give the player creative ways to hide around, as stealth was going to play a big part in the gameplay. A lot of GTA assets were used to create quick prototypes, so some of the gameplay features were only available in a rough state rather than the exact polish that the devs wanted them to have. There were a bunch of missions created already, such as one with go-karts, one that had Jimmy in his underwear, one with a beekeeper, and one of them was inspired by the Simpsons episode Camp Krusty, in which the children of Springfield go to a shitty summer camp named after Krusty the Clown. NPCs in the game had day-to-day -day routines where they would do random tasks, which made them feel more integrated into the world. The game was nowhere close to a shippable state, and would have taken two to three years at the very least to be fully developed. The terrain of the game was fully mapped out, and the environment had a lot of attention to detail. Mini games would have been available, but we don't know what they were going to be other than one that involved lawn mowing. A tripwire prank was added. Car driving was not going to be possible in the game, which would have cleverly made the map feel bigger. And the excuse for that was simply going to be the fact that Jimmy isn't legally old enough to have a driving license. The game would have had Jimmy Hopkins as the protagonist again, and we'd see his mother and stepfather. Jimmy's step-siblings would be there. Other characters included Abe, a war veteran in concept art, Nick, some earnest character in concept art, a chef who works in a mansion, and a beekeeper. The game would have featured an entirely new town, but we don't know its name. It was going to be something close to GTA Vice City and three times the size of the previous game's map, but not too large as they wanted to prioritize accessible interiors over having a large environment with unusable buildings. The game's theme was inspired by the likes of The Simpsons, the previous game, and classic 80s films like The Goonies and the sex comedy Porky's. A summer camp was going to be included at some point. The story of the game was meant to be a direct sequel to Bully 1, and we would have seen his personal life more this time around. Dan Hauser had written a script and story outline for the game back in 2008. Not much is known about the story, besides that we may have gotten to see the protagonist in college. 
since a massive chunk of the game's features were already outlined and some of them were even developed. They were then carried on to other games developed by Rockstar Games. Although we don't know the details for every single one of these features, we do have a few direct examples. In Max Payne 3 and most modern games, when you shoot glass, it progressively begins to crack in a realistic way and then falls apart only when shot in enough sides, which is different to how in older games, shooting glass just makes it fall apart right away. This feature was developed for Bully 2 initially. The upgraded honor system in Red Dead Redemption 2 features some of the ideas that were originally planned for Bully 2, such as how NPCs remember how you treated them to an extent. For example, if you create trouble in a town or rob a store, if you go back to these people, they ask you to leave or are visibly afraid of you. Furthermore, some of the dialogue changes too, based on your honor level. NPCs doing day-to-day -day tasks is something that can be seen prominently in Red Dead Redemption 2, and it seems to be implemented similarly to how Bully 2 would have had it. You can always find your gang doing something specific at the camp, and sometimes you can run into even throughout the map, such as how you can find Uncle getting kicked out of bars for not having enough money at times. Fortunately, even if Bully 2 still comes out at some point, these features being used in that game will not feel like a repeat because that game takes place in a completely different setting. It's pretty obvious that step-siblings or parents in a mansion following random routines is not the same as outlaws in the Wild West getting into bar brawls or shooting Pinkertons. What do you think? Would you like to see the Bully franchise come back after all these years or not really? Let me know in the comments down below. Yeah, they gotta bring Bully back. I was going crazy with the spud gun. Like what? I was. You gotta bring Bully back. Well, that's it for this video. Don't forget to like the video if you like the video. Comment, share, subscribe, turn on post notifications. DM me the link via X. Let me know what you want me to react to next or what you want me to talk about. Follow me on Twitch, Kick and Rumble. Before we start rumbling, I kick your ass and you end up twitching. I mean, we got GTA 6 coming out in 2000, I mean, 2025. Everybody in the world gonna be on that game. Why I can't get a character? Bro, I should have a main, I should have a character, at least a character I can, or hopefully they got the face scanner like like 2K where we can have our own character because ain't nobody character fucking with my character. I don't want to play with that. Other, I'm gonna be playing with the girl character before I'm playing with whoever that is. I'll see you on the next video, man. I'm out.